Okay, in this video, I will show you how to um, create a saved map using Google Maps. Um, so instead of actually going straight to Google Maps, and you can do that, but I'm going to just show you the direct URL. You'll go to google.com slash maps slash D, and then hit enter, and it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. Um, from here, you'll hit create a new map. This is just letting you know that it's going, what it's going to do. Now we've got a map and we can go ahead and start creating it. So this in the real world would be great for planning a road trip or a vacation or just anywhere where you're going to travel. This would be a good idea to sit and plan out that uh, journey. Um, first, you'll want to title your map. Um, I'm going to use New York as my adventure place for this project, so I'm going to title mine New York. You can put a description here if you want. Um, I'm going to say this is Adventure with Pythagoras. Okay, um, now like I said, I'm going to do my adventure in New York. So you can zoom in specifically on the state, or if you would like, you can just type it in the little search bar and then it brings you a pin right here. What that's done is it's pinned to the location and maybe you don't want it pinned, so click the X on that. Um, you can use your touchpad to zoom in or out. You can also use the plus or minus sign over here to zoom in or out. <coughs> so um, from here, we need to pick six locations and we're gonna pick them in a way where I can have two what I would hope are right triangles. We're shooting to create right triangles here because we're adventuring with Pythagoras of all people. So I'm going to um, pick the uh, Chinatown to do my first adventure. That's not Chinatown, yeah. Okay. Okay, so in Chinatown, I'm gonna pick out some places where I'd like to visit. Um, New York or any really large city is great because they've got all of these um, streets that make like what looks like a 90 degree angle so that'll be super helpful on this project. Um, once you find a place to go to you're going to drop a pin so um, I know I've heard great things about Uncle Lou uh, the, the Cantonese restaurant so I'm gonna click add marker that's this little teardrop icon and then you can put it anywhere on the map, and I'm going to put it at Uncle Lou. Instead of naming it point one, I want to name it with the title of the place that it is. So this is Uncle Lou's Restaurant. Okay, um, this project requires you to have a description. So um, in this description, you can write out what you're going to do at that location. So we're going to eat... Cantonese food for lunch or something. You also need a picture. To add a picture to your location, you're going to click on the camera icon. It says add image or video. Now you can go and search an image or upload one if you've got it. Or, sorry, you can search your own image and upload it on this page. Or you can search for the image directly in this screen. You can go to Google Images. And then this was Uncle Lou's Anthony's Restaurant in New York. Then you'll just grab a picture of Uncle Lou's restaurant. Um, obviously go and do some research. I've already, um, I've not already done this. Um, I'm going to, for the purposes of keeping the video shorter, just uh, snag this first picture, and I'm pretty sure that's not actually Uncle Lou's restaurant. Again, you'll want to actually go do some research before just picking any random image here. Uh, sorry. So, whoop, there we go. After you select the image, it'll say insert, and then you can insert it. And now we've got one of our locations, Uncle Lou's restaurant. Here's the description and the picture. Then you hit save. What that's done is it's put it, uh, it's put this location under the word untitled layer, um, Uncle Lou's restaurant. On the pin, on the map, sorry, you can see the pin is right here, and when you hover over it, Uncle Lou's restaurant uh, under the untitled layer got highlighted. 
and again, if you hover over Uncle Lou's restaurant, the pin gets a little circle around it. Okay, um, so now I'm going to pick two other things. You can customize that, so maybe there's a lot of other blue and orange colors here. So if I want it to stand out a little more, I can pick another color. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use purple. You can also use any popular icons. This is a food place, so maybe you want to use a food icon. That's up to you if you want to personalize it. <clears throat> From there, um, I know I want to go over to um, Columbus Park. So I'm going to drop a pin over at Columbus Park. So we're going to Columbus Park, which is right here. Columbus Park, here's your description of what you're going to do there. Don't type randomly like I did. You'll add the picture um, and then you'll save it. I didn't do all of those things because I'm just trying to save time here. Um, I want it to be the same color as what I had. So I'm gonna make sure I change that to purple. You can customize that however you want and makes it easiest for you. Okay, so I've got two points here, but I need to make a triangle, so I need a third point. So now I'm going to get another one, um, another um, marker out, and you want to place the third point in a way that maybe creates a right triangle. So um, I've kind of got this line here, so to make a right triangle, I need to make a 90 degree angle of either of those things. So if I go down to Columbus Park and kind of see a 90 degree angle, that's going to be just a straight line there. Um, <clears throat> I see nothing that I really want to go to. I've already got a food place. Um, you can use the hand tool so to move around in the map. Um, so maybe I want to look the other way from, uh, from Uncle Lou's restaurant here. And I see New York Civil Court. And I'm in law school, so I want to go there. So I'm um, going to make my pin there. New York, whoop, New York Civil Court. New York City Civil Court, sorry. And then your description and a picture as well. Save it. You can change the color from this little menu here or from over there under the words untitled layer. Okay, now what I have is what I think might be a right triangle. So from here, you're going to click draw a line. Now you're not actually going to draw one line. You're going to add a line or a shape, but it's going to be three lines. So click on each of your markers so that was New York City Court and now when I drag my cursor it's going to create the line so here's Uncle Lou's restaurant and then here's Columbus Park and go back to the original starting point to create your triangle call this triangle one for the purpose of this assignment please okay. um, there we go <coughs> The triangle uh, title here does not need a description because your uh, individual locations will have the description and pictures, so you don't need that there. Um, if you'd like to change the color, you can. Maybe I want it to be purple to match the locations there. Okay, And that is how you create a triangle here. Now you're going to have to create two triangles that are seemingly right triangles. You will have to prove that they're right triangles, so um, if they're not exactly a right triangle you're going to come and adjust your markers now that might look like um, I can see that this angle here isn't quite a right triangle so whoops if I click and well okay I thought yeah if you click down on the marker and hold it and then drag it you can change it to go anywhere you want so I think I want to make this angle bigger which means this needs to go, this marker needs to go out to the right a little bit. So maybe I'll find something over on that side of the street. If I go to the right, that doesn't change the, the triangle though. So you are gonna have to edit the, you are gonna have to delete the triangle and then start over. <coughs> okay. 
I'm just going to undo everything so I can keep showing you what needs to be done. So after you have your triangle, your two triangles, um, now you're ready to start measuring the distances. So you're going to use this little ruler tool under the search bar that says measure distances and areas. You're going to measure the distance from one marker or location to another one. Now when I've got that, it says 602 feet. So one of the quote unquote legs or shorter sides is 602 feet long. Okay. Um, after you click twice, it's just going to keep it there. Oh, sorry, 608. Now I'm going to click on the tool again and it disappears. So now I'm measuring from the park to Uncle Lou's. And that says 324 feet. That's my dog. I'm so sorry. Coco. All right. That's 324 feet. And after you click twice, it uh, holds 325 feet. Okay, and then to get your last measurement, click there, drag all the way over 636 feet. That is the longest side, so um, or 639 feet. That's the longest side, so um, I know that would be the potential hypotenuse. After you've done all that, you'll have the distances, and you can continue following the instructions that are on Google Slides for you. Um, that is all I have for this video. If you have questions, comments, or concerns about how to navigate the map, please don't hesitate to call me over and I will help you.